Folks, I just picked this up from Walmart earlier today for I think it's. Let me look at the receipt here. Um, it was twenty nine ninety six at Walmart, and it's the Wizard of Oz seventy uh, fifth anniversary limited edition collector set from twenty thirteen. Um, this was a, a limited edition set that Warner Brothers put out to celebrate the 75th anniversary of, of course, The Wizard of Oz. And this was a limited edition set, limited to only 220,000, but, uh, not many people bought the set, and, um, uh, it didn't sell well. Uh, you'd think with these kind of collector's editions, people would buy a ton of them, but this one, they didn't. I assume it was because this one was kind of a dud, and a lot of people would consider this not as good as the 2009 uh, 70th anniversary collector edition Blu-ray set. Um, so I guess this just didn't sell, and Warner Bros. had a bunch of these sets still in their inventory. So I guess now, all of a sudden, they decide to dump their stock at, I guess, Wal uh, at Walmart, I guess. And, uh, the price is $30 to get rid of them, probably. So, yeah, I score the set, which is usually way more expensive, brand new, on eBay, for only $30. So, um, if you if you guys can, check your local Walmart to see if they've got any of these sets. Uh, if you can, I would suggest picking it up. It wouldn't cost much more to get this set uh, than to just buy the Blu-ray 3D release of Wizard of Oz on its own. Even though I imagine there's a very good chance Warner Bros. will probably put out a 4K release of, Wizard, of the Wizard of Oz later this year to celebrate the 80th anniversary of said movie. So, let's take a look. Here's the front of the box. Emily, I really like the front artwork. I think it looks I think it looks great. I also like how it's holographic. And it's also embossed. The title at least is embossed. Uh, nothing else on the front's embossed, unfortunately, but it's still nice and nice and shiny and everything. I like that. And uh, it mentions down here um, that it's the first time available in 3D. And it comes with uh, over 16 hours of special features, plus various collectible, 75th anniversary collectibles, which we'll get to in a moment. This does come with a digital copy as well. It's not like the 2009 set, it's actually a modern code, even though Ultraviolet's closing soon. At least I could still use the coding and get it through movies anywhere and, and still have the movie to watch on Amazon Video or through iTunes. Um, and anyway. And it's not like the 2009 set where you can only use iTunes as a digital copy and it doesn't really work too well anymore. And limited edition, uh, right here. The stickers on the box itself, it's not on the, sh the uh, shrink wrap here, fortunately. Number uh, 131,340 out of 220,000. So, to clear, here's the side. Both are the same, just as the Wizard of Oz title, embossed, and 75th anniversary, which is also embossed. The other side's the same thing. Top, just blue, in case you're wondering. Not terribly special. And the bottom, let me, let me set the camera, put my phone down so I can flip it over. Uh, it just has all your legal information and tech specs on the bottom. And in case you're wondering, the Blu-rays are region free, but the DVD is region one, as this is an an Amer a U.S. Canadian set. So just keep that in mind. If you if I if any of my my foreign viewers want to get this set, here's the back. Here's a, kind of a nice little spread of what comes with it. And I'm gonna let you guys pause the video to take a look at the special features, right there. And then there's a list of collectibles right there as well. And I want to mention real quick, MGM When the Lion Roars was available on the Blu-ray set from 2009, but on a separate DVD that's double-sided. Here, I could be wrong, but I think it's actually on the Blu-ray itself, on one of the Blu-ray discs. It's not a separate DVD. Uh, so now you won't have to flip sides during the middle of the special, which is six hours long. Uh... Even though it's it's still in standard definition, it's still it's on Blu-ray now, so it makes it more convenient. And then there's some more legal information right there. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna open this this bad boy. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll take off the shrink wrap. Okay, so now I've taken the shrink wrap off, so now I'm gonna get off this J card. Well, it's it's not really quite a J card, but actually, yeah, it is. And Thank you, Warner Brothers, for not putting any of that, that sticky crap on the on the cardboard piece here. So, thank you for that. So, now we can get a better look at the box. So, there's the full cover without, without the, um, the J card. The bottom of it, just plain white like the top, as you can see there, with the J card taken off. And the sides are the same. 
the back. I'm kind of disappointed with the back. I wish it would have had some nice artwork. It's just plain white with the Warner Brothers logo and the Wizard of Oz and Wizard of Oz 70th anniversary logos and the copyright information and the stock number. So, let's open this box here. See if I can take this off. Um, kind of requires me to get two hands to get it off, but anyway. There's the top. There's the inside of it. You want to see just plain black. First thing we get is we get a book. Let me get it out. There's a little there's a little ribbon to take it out. Yep, the Wizard of Oz, uh, production uh, 1060, a timeline. There's the the back of the book right there. And there's there's the spine. So let's take a look at what's in here. Yep, Wizard of Oz production 1060, a timeline. It always starts, it's always best to start at the beginning. The pages are kind of stuck together. I think it's because this book has just been open. So you can kind of see that. Hold on a second, I gotta stop for a moment. I need to go do something real quick. Yeah, I'm back. So you can kind of see it's a little timeline. I'll go through a couple of pages real quick. I'm not gonna go through the whole book, but. Can I see it there? Let's see it there, so pretty nice book in my opinion. Keep going here. Next up, we've got uh, the map. Get out. And the marvelous map of Oz. There. And there's the back of it. And. And so. You can get a little graph as well. On the back, you got an ad for the Wizard of Oz official 75th anniversary companion. I think it's a little graph. This could just be an ad, but yeah. And next up, we got. We get uh, another book here. Let's take a look at this inside. Ooh. It's actually a little notebook. Huh. Not sure if I'd write it in this, though, but it looks kind of neat. Kind of like the inside here. There's the other side if you want to see it. So, alright. Let me get the little. Make sure I got this going on right. Anyway, there's that little oh, notebook. And next up, she got this little tray. It's got stuck in there. I got this little tray. And next up, we've got the Blu-ray 3 release of uh, Wizard of Oz right there. And there's the back of the case right there. I would have kind of nice if this had a slip cover, but oh well. I'll take what you can get. I'm going to those up real quick. I presume the digital copy is inside here. And yes, it is. I need to take it out real quick. Not give it to you guys. So here's all the discs. We got the uh, Blu-ray 3D disc for uh, Wizard of Oz. You got the uh, the standard Blu-ray for Wizard of Oz. And then we get uh, special features right here. And then we have um, 
the DVD of Wizard of Oz, and actually I was dead wrong, MGM when the Lion Wars is actually on DVD. I don't know why they did that, because the DVD could easily get scratched this way with, with it being all like this. should be really at the front. Or have two DVDs in, instead, instead of having one double-sided. But anyway. I'll take it, though. Just gotta be careful with it. So, there you go. I'll show you the back of the digital copy real quick. Insert it there. Add for Amtrak. So there we go. I'm a little disappointed that um, Engine When the Lion, Lion Roars is still on DVD. It's not on Blu-ray, but just in SD. But uh, I'll take what I can get. Next up, we've got a little snow globe right here. There's the back of the box. I see it in there. And the last thing inside the box is the little pin set. Let's see if I this. There are the little pins right there. Let's see if I can... There's a way I can get this out. There we go. Took me a second to get it out, but... Ah, oh, never mind. It's actually just stuck really hard in there. Okay. Anyway, these are actually pins, in case you're wondering. So. But yeah, here's the pins. So yeah, that's the pin set. And that's it, the box. There's nothing else inside the box. Um, so, what do I think of this collector's edition? Well, overall, I'm pleased for the price I paid for it, $30, but I I kind of feel bad for the people who bought it when it originally came out, because it was a pretty expensive, and most people didn't see it as worth it, because uh, the the extras included were not nearly as good as the 2009 set, which admittedly I think had better extras than this. That one came with a watch, so this one doesn't come with a watch at all. Um, so overall, I think the 2009 set superior in terms of bonuses but in terms of like extra like special features and uh, video content it's superior but overall I'm, I'm pleased with this set so let me, kind of, let me put this back together here um, actually hold on a second I'm just putting the set back together real quick. Oh, hold on a second. It's about to. It's a little ribbon back there. Back in place. Yeah. Now it's time for the to put the top back on the box. Let me get it. There we go. So that's it. The, with, the, with the Wizard of Oz 70th Anniversary Collector's Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care.